Next layup is a scud. A scud's a really good effective fly here in New Mexico and I've used it in a lot of places. If you're to look at a scud, if you could think about um, a cross between a roly-poly and a shrimp, you'd get what a scud would look like. I'm going to put up a, a photo here about I'll put up a photo of uh, what a scud looks like. Okay, what I'm using for the is going to be the tail now, the pinch method is going to be this is a mallard flank. Okay, now I want to put the hook at an angle like this because. I want to utilize the curve of the or the bend of the hook uh, to mimic the natural curve of, of the scud. A lot of people will put it on an actual scud hook, but I once was given a tip a long time ago by an owner of a lodge, and she said that they don't use it as curved hook when they tie scud patterns. They use a regular nymph hook. And I've been doing it since, and it works well. That way I don't have to, I could use what I have on hand. Okay, that's gonna be the front part of it. Okay, next <clears throat> I'm gonna tie in my wire, and this will serve as my ribbing. On smaller sizes, I tie this from, um, this is a 16, and I tie it from a 14 down to an 18. Um, on the smaller sizes, I just use a piece of thread that I double over. The next, <clears throat> some people use a shell back or there's a scud backs and all sorts sorts of things. I just use a piece of crystal flash. And this color, I believe, is pearlescent. So I fold it once and I fold it over again. And I'm going to tie it in here. And this will be my scud back. Use the pinch method that you just saw right there. Oops, last one. Okay. I'm going to use this gray dubbing here. And you could use what you want. I've tied them in colors of gray, tan, orange, and pink. See, I just didn't put too much right there. I pull all this back pinch it right here there we go can we raise the hook up a little bit there we go try not to cut my tail off it's a little sticking out that's okay then my ribbing I'm going to put opposite to the thread one real tight take a big jump another jump then start bringing it down slowly that looks good right there. Okay, give it a couple wraps. Okay, now just finish it up. I'm going to pick out the abdomen and the thorax a little bit. Let's do a little bit of this side. Some guys use little brushes. I use whatever I have in my hand right there at the moment. A lot of times when I <clears throat> use this fly, I'll use it in tandem, which I'll, this will be the top fly. Then I'll have like 14 inches of uh, fluorocarbon tippet. I'll put a bottom fly right here and it works very well. Uh, the tan patterns mimic the dead uh, scud bodies that, that are available to the trout. 
early morning and late afternoon to early evening, these patterns are very good and very productive.